something more of a vlog type video. We are creating our Halloween costumes for this year and I wanted to show you guys um, how we did it and kind of show you what I did and then I'll have another separate video on my makeup for it because you know I have to do that. So do you want to tell them what we're going to make for Halloween? Yeah so for any of you who are around our age you may have seen a movie called Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. So we're going to be Yzma Bye. and Kronk. Yeah, and my dad has no idea what I'm talking about, so that's fun. Alright, so every year my dad has a super huge Halloween party, and they do like costume, like, like competition. Comp yeah, con or uh, competition, yeah. Whatever it is. Um, and we never win, no matter what we do, so we're gonna go full out, all out. We created our costumes from scratch this year. Um, so we have a few weeks, but we're still, we... We've had good costumes before, too, that I yeah. feel like we should have won some stuff like, for. We did Iron Man and Thor. Yeah. We did uh, Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. That one was a good one, because yeah. I had, like, you know, like, scar makeup and everything. It was cool. We did the Fisherman and the Mermaid. Did we go to his party for that year, though? Uh, I don't remember. I'm not sure. Anyways, so we did some stuff, but we still have a lot to do, so I figured I'd record what we're doing. So, so far on his costume, I made him a little skirt. <laughs> it's a kilt. It's a skirt. It's a kilt. So I just used a regular, like, skirt pattern, and then I added, like, the top and the sash to it. It's a kilt pattern. It's a skirt pattern. Um, so that's his. So that's all we've done for him so far. You should put up on the screen like a picture of Yzma and Kronk. Okay. I so that they that. have a reference. Yeah, if you don't know what Yzma and Kronk is, I'll put a picture of them on the screen. And then, so far for me, I've made my little hat doohickey. Or, I don't know what this is for her. So this is this. Isn't that, is that? I think that's on backwards. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, because her feathers go forward. Oh yeah. I lied. It's this way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There you go. Bam. And my hair's gonna be tucked back, so. Um, so, if you think I should dye my hair orange and black for Halloween, let me know. <laughs> In the comments. So all I did was bought like a little turban thing, and then I bought these feathers, and I just kind of cut a hole in the turban, and glued it inside, and then I glued like a piece of fabric so that the Feathers weren't like attacking my head the whole time. So this is how I made this. Um, pretty easy actually once I like actually did it. I was like, how am I gonna do this? So that's this. So what else I have here is our cat is going like literally crazy. Go after a string. It's a little <laughs> itty bitty piece of string. Um so for my costume, I bought all this fabric to make a black dress. But we've been so busy <laughs> that I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing that. So, my backup plan... <laughs> so my backup plan is to um, use this dress. So I bought like this, um, this dress, uh, not on purpose either, it just kind of was an accident. But it has like a little slit at the bottom and it's kind of looks like Yzma's dress, so that's my backup plan in case I don't actually get around to the dress itself, which might not happen. And then for her earrings, I'm going to use this foam ball, I'm going to cut it in half. He's going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to paint it blue, and then just have him dangling here. Here, you turn the TV on. And then... <laughs> Hi, baby. Come down here. Nope, okay. <sighs> And then for her little, like, you know how, like, she has feathers up like this? You'll see in the picture on the screen. But, um, I got this, like, what's it called? It's, like, not felt. It's, like, it's, like, hard almost. It's, like, a felt it's like a, or something. Yeah, I don't know. And I got this. I'm going to cut it to go around my neck. And then I bought... <laughs> oh, wrong one. Yeah. Then I bought these feathers. <laughs> I got all these feathers to put on it. I'm, I'm going to do that tonight actually. I'm very excited uh, to see if this works. So, got that. I got purple makeup, which I'll show you in a separate video how I do her makeup. 
and then giant eyelashes because you know Yzma has giant eyelashes. So that's basically my costume. I'm just going to put some heels with it. For his costume, I got him a shirt. <laughs> so this is your shirt. My costume is pretty simple. Yeah, I bought some yellow fabric. I'm going to put that little thing on, you know, how he has a thing. I'm going to cut this and sew it to that. And then his skirt we've already made. And then I'm going to take, so I have these foam pads you and I have some my kilt. belt. It's a skirt. You're wearing a skirt. It's so a, I'm going to attach the, fe the felt to these foam pads and I'm going to use it to make his little cuffs like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be great. So that's what we're working on. Um, I'm going to, tonight I'm going to do this for me and he's got to figure out how he's going to do the hat. No idea how you're gonna do that. That's a little tricky. Yeah, so we don't know what to do with his hat. Um, so he's gonna go do some research on that. I'm gonna do my little this thing. So yeah. Okay, so for the neck piece, I took the, it's not felt, it's more of like a cardboardy felt thing. I'm not sure what this is called, but I took this and I kind of cut her thing out. So basically I cut it in like a strip and then I fold it in half like this and then I cut it like this and made like a little like V into it so that it made the V here. And then I took the bottom and I cut it up and then over so that this thing, the strap around my neck was kind of um, skinnier and then it has this like V that she has in the front of her neck like this. And now I'm going to take my feathers and I'm going to put them inside like this, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put a bunch of them so when I do this, it'll go around and I have all these feathers around my neck, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna literally super glue all of these feathers to there and show you my result. <laughs> Okay, so before I glue them onto this, I'm actually going to make them longer by placing them, by gluing them to each other. So I'm going to like glue one slightly past and slightly past so it's like longer so then it has more waves to droop. Okay friends, so I finished the neck piece. I ended up gluing all of the feathers inside and then putting another piece of this black stuff in. So I had to reattach another piece of the Velcro. So it was on the outside of that. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. Finished. So I think I'm gonna get a piece of pipe cleaner and put one behind here so it kind of stays up more because it kind of like droops a little bit too much. So, so if I put that with my headpiece, do I look like Yzma yet? <laughs> so this is gonna be a work in progress, but we're gonna, he just ordered a beanie for his hat, so we're gonna try and do that. Um, so we're gonna work on his costume next week. I really only have to do the earrings, and then um, if I wear this dress, then I don't have to do the other dress, which 
probably won't end up having time for that anyways. So we just really need to do my earrings and then finish his outfit, which is really just the shirt and the cuffs and then his hat when we figure that out. So we'll be back and just to show you the rest of it. Okay. Okay, friends, we are doing more stuff. Um, <laughs> we're going to do the cuffs tonight, I think. Ron is out there trying to cut that ball for my earrings. Um, and if you have impeccable vision and you're like, Kara, why is your face all busted up? Funny story about that. <laughs> so who says band isn't dangerous? So we were at band rehearsal yesterday because we teach a drum line at high school. And I was like next to the bases, right? Just minding my own business, walking, looking at them. And the next thing I know, there's a flagpole swinging at me like this. Good thing I was wearing my glasses, actually. I was wearing my glasses and I went, and I was like on the ground and I could not move. My, like, the only thing running through my mind was I need to move before I get trampled on, but I couldn't physically get myself to crawl away. And then the rep ended. I don't even know how many sets they did. I was there for like a good 30 seconds. And I finally got up and I walked past the, uh, I went to the back of the field and I just sat there and I had my glasses in my hands and like, I was in like so much pain that I didn't realize I was bleeding. And <laughs> one of the bass drummers were like, Ron, Kara got hit by a guard member. So he came running. <laughs> he didn't even know that I was on the ground. Nobody even noticed. And he came running and he was like, Kara, you're bleeding. And I was like, was I? And I was like, <laughs> I was so painful. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I got hit in the head with a guard pole. So that was fun. Um, it wasn't even my own instrument. So yeah. So if you're wondering what happened, that's what happened. Um, and it's funny now when it doesn't hurt. Um, I'm actually surprised it's not black and blue. And it's just, it's swollen a little bit of it. But, yeah. Cool. Alright, so, Ron is doing the ball thing. Heck yeah, I am. <laughs> I think given the circumstances, that's not too bad. Okay. So Ron cut this ball in half so I can put them as my earrings. And I had blue paint. And I bought blue, I bought blue paint. It was in my bag. I brought it home. Cannot find the blue paint anywhere. I have no clue where it went. So now I have to go buy more blue paint. Kind of upset about it. But I'm going to paint these blue to match the blue earrings. And I have little hooks. I make earrings for Etsy. So I have little hooks. But I'm going to use to put it on here. No idea how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll find out. Alright, so. Earrings. I'm going to do the cuffs. Ron's making a lot of noise. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the cuffs. So I have, he has cuffs on his arms and on his legs. I have this like foamy paper, but it wasn't as gold as like the other stuff. So I also got felt, but the felt wasn't strong enough. So I thought I got both. Because I thought maybe I can glue this onto here and then use this as the cup. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut this in half.
All right, friends, so we finished our costumes. So I'm just gonna show you the pieces that we made. So for my costume, I'm gonna wear this black dress that I found from Forever 21. Uh, I got this for like $7. Um, and it has the V-neck that she wears. It's, you know, the spaghetti straps. So I thought this would work the best. Um, so I made the neck piece. So what I did here was I took kind of like felt and I made, I like made it the size of my neck and then I actually glued all these feathers on it and then put another piece of felt on top and then I put Velcro. So when I put it on, it looks like this. So I'm very happy how this turned out. I actually had to like take the feathers off and put them back on like a bunch of times to figure out how to get it to stay up. Um, some of the feathers were like, like drooping too far. So I had to figure out the order to put them in. Um, and then for my headpiece, I just took this like turban and I put feathers in it. And then I'm gonna put it on like this. I'll just wear um, some shoes that looks like the shoes that she wears. So, and I'm going to actually do my makeup. Um, and then I'll show you guys with the outfit on with the makeup once I do the makeup. I will link the makeup tutorial that I do up above when it comes out. So if you want to see the actual makeup done, you can click that. And then for Ron's costume for Kronk, he actually does not like his costume, which is really funny. Um, so if I get video of him in it, I will put it up here. but. I don't know if he'll let me take a video of him, but I made his skirt. He's gonna say it's a kilt. Um, so I just took some fabric and put like the blue with the sash and then the purple. So here's the crack skirt. And then he has, we just got a blue shirt for him. Literally it's just the blue shirt that we got from Joanne Fabrics that he's gonna wear. And then he's gonna put this piece of fabric on top of it. Uh, so it kind of goes over his head like this, so it'll it'll go like this on top, if that makes sense. So that is the top of Kronk's outfit. Um, he made the hat from a beanie, so this is, I didn't actually record us making um, his accessories uh, because my camera wasn't working at the time, but. He took a beanie, he cut it down, and then he took pipe cleaners and then like construction paper to make this little thing. I might take a marker and make the lines. Um, so that is his hat that he doesn't like. <laughs> he doesn't like his costume and I'm very upset about it. Um, and then I made, so he's wearing socks for the cuffs on the bottom and then his sandals because the, the foam and stuff wasn't big enough for his legs, so we went with the socks. And then for the arms, I actually made the cuffs, so I took foam and I took felt, and I put the felt on top so it kind of looked like everything else, because the foam was not like the right color, and I wanted it to be more sturdy, so I put Velcro on the two edges. Um, I made it into like this trapezoid so that it'll fit over his arms like that. Uh, so. They're a little tight on him, but it's like weird. I haven't never made like cuffs before, so it was trying. It was like weird trying to figure out the right size so that it wasn't too big elsewhere, but like not too small down here. So that's his cuffs. So I'll try to get a picture of him in it. Maybe I'll record a little bit. Um, so you'll see him in it maybe once, and then I will. I will show you mine when I'm done with the makeup, um, and then of course I will link. The makeup tutorial as well. So that's how I made the costumes. Uh, I'm very, very excited. We go to our party in like two days. So yay. All right, I'll be back. Pull the lever, off, Kronk. <laughs> okay, guys, so here is the finished look. Look how awesome this is. So I'm very happy how this came out. And the makeup, as I was doing it, I was a little worried that it wouldn't portray what I wanted to portray but once I got everything on the lashes kind of make it these earrings kind of make it um to be honest 
Um, so it definitely looks like Yzma now that I have everything together. So that's all I have for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this look and are excited for Halloween like I am. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.